a buddy of mine, physical therapist Bob Forster, turned me on to. He tells me, United States wrestling team traveling to Iran. He told me that on Saturday. I'm like, what? Iran? Now? Almost didn't make it into the country because of a travel ban. You see, when the United States issued its recent no-fly, Iran countered with its own. You're not welcome. A judge's decision here, a change of mind there. Now, no one did it for the good of sport. Still, it seems like a good story on President's Day. Sports trumps. Wrestle with that. In Iran, sports pinning politics for two days this past week. You won't see this on the Showtime series Homeland or anytime soon in your own hometown. But in the political football that is Iran, sports scored at the Freestyle World Cup. A World Cup without the Americans would not have been a real World Cup. That's what the real head of Iran's Wrestling Federation told CNN. American wrestler Kyle Snyder had this to say to the New York Times. They gave us roses at the airport, brought our bags. Everyone wants to take selfies with us. This was the best tournament I've ever participated in even better than the Olympics in Rio. Snyder won a gold medal in Rio. So did Jordan Burroughs. He beat an Iranian for Olympic gold, and he's the most popular American wrestler in Iran. Go figure. Oh yeah, Russia was part of this tournament too. Wrestling makes strange bedfellows. The first U.S. athletic team to travel to Iran after the Islamic Revolution in 1979 a wrestling team. That was in 1998. Since then, our wrestlers are frequent flyers to participate in one of Iran's most popular sports. Takedown two points does not erase the past. Sports does not guarantee anything in the future, but sometimes in the moment, sports feels like it has the power to make a difference. Major League Baseball traveling to Cuba, there was good to be had. We saw that even though we knew the bad done clearly caused the most tears. Tommy Smith and John Carlos made us think when they used their Olympic platform for what they called a human rights salute. Human rights. Who can argue against that? Individual rights on stage when Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the anthem, or when these four took the stage at the ESPYs. Who doesn't like a good drama? unless it makes us feel personally uncomfortable. Wrestling, the most intimate of competitions, a team sport highlighted by individual matchups, face-to-face, hand-to-hand, sweat-to-sweat. This time, Iran beat the U.S. Still, it feels like everyone won.